Hey folks, today I'm going to share with you six ways that you can make your PC games run faster for free. Yep, you're going to get better gaming performance without having to spend a single penny. I figured since we are living in interesting times, let's say, that many of us are now looking for ways that we can save money where we can. So with that in mind, this list of six things you can do today that won't cost you a penny and will deliver amazing gaming performance was born. Right, okay, so I'm Craig Hume, Managing Director of Utopia Computers, an awesome system builder of incredible gaming PCs, workstations and laptops based here in the UK. On this channel, I share tips, help you choose the right tech for your needs, discuss the tech industry, as well as offering up some lessons I've learned for running a business all these years. Some of you who have watched this channel before might have noticed that my hair doesn't look quite right. Well, that's because, since we're all in lockdown, I decided it'd be a good idea to try cutting my own hair. I mean, YouTube made it look easy. Well, I can testify that it's not. So Johnny, my barber, you, you, my friend, you rock. I have a newfound respect for your skills. I really hope you can fix this one day, mate. Anyway, back to today's video. Six things that we can do right now to speed up your PC's gaming performance. At number one. You can speed up your PC by disabling the hardware acceleration on your mouse. If you're an avid gamer, then this is something you may have already done. Windows has an inbuilt feature called hardware acceleration for computer mice. Its aim is to smooth the pointer experience by making your cursor move faster if you move the mouse faster. For spreadsheets, it's awesome. For gaming, eh, not so much. Hardware acceleration can cause real problems in first person shooters where quick mouse movements can cause you to easily overshoot your target. The good news is, you can sort it in a handful of steps. Click start, type mouse, then click on the mouse, click additional mouse settings, and under pointer options, deselect enhanced pointer precision. This is what Windows 10 calls its NOS hardware acceleration. You can also change the overall mouse sensitivity here, but I wouldn't recommend that. Do that through the DPI button on your mouse. If you don't have a gaming mouse, then it could be time to consider upgrading. Yeah, I know I said this was a free list and we're only one tip in and now I'm telling you to buy a gaming mouse. But the DPI switches on mice like Cooler Master's MM711 will lift your game from zero to hero. The good news is that my team and I are currently working on some sweet giveaways with gaming kit like the Cooler Master M711 to brighten everyone's day. So be sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on those giveaways. At number two, Check your monitor settings to ensure you're seeing the benefit of high frame rates in games. This is one of my tech support team's favourites, they come across it all the time. Windows 10 is not great at detecting your monitor's maximum refresh rate. The refresh rate on an everyday monitor will be 60Hz, but gaming monitors can be 144Hz or even higher. The higher the hertz, the more often the screen will refresh. For example, a 60Hz monitor refreshes 60 times a second, 144Hz, you guessed it, 144 times a second. Essentially, higher refresh rates, higher, faster images. I could do a whole video on why this works best in games and it's not important in movies, but I'm going to save that for another day. To check this setting, simply go to the Start menu, type Advanced Display Settings, click on the link, and this window will appear. Now click on the Display Adapter Properties for Display 1, click on the Monitor tab, and choose the highest refresh rate from the drop-down. Again, in this case, 144Hz. At number three, stop in-game lag by turning off auto-updates in games. This is one for those of you with slower broadband connections. Turning off auto-updates means your PC won't start downloading updates for games while you are playing, potentially causing lagging or worse, a complete disconnection from the server. To do this in Steam, simply open Steam Client, select Steam, then Settings, Downloads, and then uncheck Allow Downloads during gameplay. Origin Epic don't quite have the same settings, but you can still turn off auto-updating as shown in these two clips. At number four, Make sure your games don't glitch by turning off Windows 10's Focus Assist feature. Ever just about to get that chicken dinner or victory royale when you've had a pop-up letting you know that you've just received an email from Domino's about discounted delivery? Not that that in particular would be an unwanted email, it's just that it could have waited until you'd finished gaming. In order to not get distracted and maintain your gaming zen, click on Start, 
type focus assist, click on focus assist settings and change it to alarms only. Microsoft has opted not to allow us to turn it off completely. Perhaps in the next update, Microsoft. And number five, get better gaming performance in Windows 10 by simply enabling game mode. That's right, Windows 10 has an optimized setting to get the very best out of your humble gaming PC, claiming that it manages temperatures as well as your system's RAM to improve frame rates. It will also put a stop to Windows trying to update while you're midway through that raid. To do this, simply click on the start menu, type game mode, click on it, toggle game mode on, and you're good to go. And finally, number six, get smoother frame rates by updating your graphics card drivers. For avid gamers, this might be stating the obvious, but for those of you who are newer to the PC gaming scene, this is a must. Your graphics driver is the group of files produced by either AMD or Nvidia, depending on the graphics card you have. It enables your graphics card to communicate with your operating system and vice versa. Graphics cards, are, the drivers are updated regularly, and these updates often provide performance increases in games, especially in new games. If you're not sure what kind of graphics card you have, then simply open the start menu, type device manager, and click on display adapters. Here, you will see your model. To get the latest NVIDIA drivers, open a browser window and visit nvidia.com. Click drivers, then GeForce drivers, and select the type of card you have from the dropdown. You can also use the GeForce Experience as shown in this clip. Note, be sure to download the game ready drivers rather than studio ones for ultimate gaming performance. For AMD owners, open a browser window and visit amd.com. Click drivers and support, then select your card model from the dropdown. Remember, you can be reminded of the model in the device manager that we just looked at. Another video done. Thanks very much for watching folks, especially for getting all the way to the end. I hope that delivered a little bit of extra gaming performance in your PC. Be sure to hit in the comments, what do you do to make your PC run best? And what games are you playing right now? Hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on those giveaways that I spoke about earlier. And I look forward to seeing you next week on the next video. Cheers.